Welcome to the Camera RC Deluxe video tutorial for using LiveView. Being able to use LiveView on the computer is one of the most desirable features for tethered shooting. All Nikon cameras supported by Camera RC Deluxe except the D40, D40X, D60, D80, and D200 support LiveView photography. Before starting LiveView, there are a number of settings that should be checked at the camera. First, ensure that the exposure mode is set to shutter, aperture, manual, or program mode. Depending on the camera model, this can be set manually using the physical switch on the camera or optionally using the Camera RC Deluxe interface. Those models with a physical switch like the D600 or D5000 require using the switch at the camera to change the exposure mode. For capturing images, you will need to ensure that the Live View selector that is available on cameras that support video is set to the Live View photography setting. This also is a physical switch located on the back of the camera. The Live View image size should be set to the maximum resolution to get the best Live View display. Use VGA or the XGA setting if available. Now we can start Live View by clicking on the Live View button on the camera control panel. Notice that the camera control panel is hidden when Live View starts and that the Live View opens and displays the Live View image along with the many controls that you will need to operate the camera in Live View. We can see that the Live View image is rather dark. The hold aperture open in Live View is an exclusive camera RC feature that can be used in manual or aperture exposure modes. In those modes, most newer Nikon cameras reduce the aperture to the shooting aperture when in live view, which leads to a dim display. The hold aperture open automatically holds the aperture in its open state except when shooting and then adjusts the aperture to the shooting value. The minus icon in the corner of the live view window is used to hide the live view controls on the live view window and display the camera control panel. When the controls are hidden on the live view window, the plus icon in the corner of the live view window can be used to redisplay the live view controls. There are two options available to control hiding of the camera control panel. The auto hide option is used to automatically hide the camera control panel when the live view window is opened. The hide camera controls option will cause the camera control panel to stay hidden as long as the live view window is active. You can change the size of the live view window by dragging on the corner or edges of the window or by using the maximize button on the window. At the top of the live view controls we see those controls that are used to initiate the shutter release, record movies, turn live view off or autofocus the camera. From the shooting controls tab we can open the main options window to make any camera adjustments. Notice that many adjustments are locked from being changed while we are in live view. Also on the shooting tab are the primary controls used to adjust the camera exposure. The white balance and picture controls items can be clicked to open those specific control panels. To see more details in the live view image, the Live View zoom rate can be used to zoom the Live View image in or out. The focusing controls are used with manual focusing and focus stacks. As you press on the focus in and focus out buttons, the focusing is driven in the desired direction. The manual focus speed and focus step size can be adjusted to control how quickly the focus changes as the buttons are held down. The autofocus on Live View Capture causes the program to force an autofocus when the capture is started in Live View. On the Display tab, we have controls that are associated with the Live View display. The Restart Live View, when checked, causes the Live View to restart after each capture. The Show Exposure Meter will display the exposure meter on the Live View display. The Transparency control is used to adjust the transparency of the controls displayed on top of the Live View image, like the focus points, exposure meter, and virtual horizon. The show focus points when checked displays a focus point. See the Live View focusing tutorial for more information on focus points. 
The Show Virtual Horizon displays a virtual horizon. Notice that this feature is not supported by all Nikon camera models. The Show Live View Histogram enables a histogram of the Live View image to be displayed. The red, green, blue, or luminescent histogram can be selected for display. The Show Audio Meter is only used with movie capture to display the audio levels. The focus point control lets you select the size and type of focus point to use during the capture. Notice that only the normal and wide area focus points are displayed and that not all Nikon models have this option. The focus mode specifies whether AFS or AFF is being used. Once again, not all Nikon models provide this capability. The image rotation can be used to rotate the live view image. Rotation is only available when auto image rotation on the camera is disabled. The brightness and contrast controls are used to adjust the brightness and contrast of the live view image that is being displayed. The mask tab is only available on the professional edition of Camera RC Deluxe. There are two mask capabilities available. Image masks are used in image composition to help see where a cropped image would end or to place people or objects in a repeatable location. For example, an overlay might be used when shooting for 8x10 prints or when composing portraits. An image mask is selected using the file selector. Once selected, enable the image mask. You can create your own image masks using directions given in the Camera RC Deluxe Help. The transparency adjustment is used to adjust the transparency of the image mask or the onion skin. The onion skin mask is a previously captured image that is then overlaid onto the current live view image. Use the capture onion skin control to create an image suitable for use as an onion skin. Next we'll take a look at the grids tab. The grids tab is used to control the display of grid lines and the golden spiral on the live view image. Fixed grid lines are displayed at regular fixed locations on the live view display. You can adjust the number of grid lines independently in the horizontal or vertical dimension. The grid line width and the color of the grid lines can also be changed. Enable or disable the fixed grid lines using the Enable Fixed Grid Lines checkbox. Now we will take a look at variable grid lines. Variable grid lines are only available with the professional edition of Camera RC Deluxe. Variable grid lines allow setting any number of grid lines and setting the grid lines at any location. Sets of variable grid lines can be created and saved as a grid line set. When variable grid lines are enabled, a border is displayed on the bottom and right side of the live view display. Grab a grid line guide along the border with the mouse to move a grid line. Enabling the show ruler on live view causes a ruler to display along the top and left side of the live view display. The number of ruler divisions can be changed using the ruler divisions control. Grid lines can also be set to snap to the ruler marks by checking the snap grid lines to ruler checkbox. When snap to ruler is checked and a variable grid line is moved, it will snap to the nearest ruler mark. To add a new grid line, right click on the top or bottom grid lines border and select the add grid line from the drop down menu. The grid line can then be moved to any desired location. To remove a grid line, right click on the desired guide and select delete. To create a new grid line set, right click on the grid line border and select Save Grid Line Set from the drop down menu. Use the grid line dialog box to add and name the new grid line set. Once a grid line set has been created, it can be selected from the drop down list of grid line sets either on the grids tab or from the grid line border. Changes can be made to the selected grid line set by adding or deleting grid lines. Any changes made to the grid line set are automatically applied and the changes do not need to be explicitly saved. To delete a grid line set, right click on the grid line border and select the delete grid line set from the menu. 
a delete dialog box will open from which you can delete a grid line set. Many of the display options can also be set by right clicking on the live view display and selecting from the pop up menu. Finally we are ready to capture an image in live view. To capture images in live view you can use the following methods. Click on the shutter button, double click on the live view image, use a control X key sequence, use the enter key, or use voice commands. This concludes our tutorial on live view basics. You can find out more about live view in the live view focusing and focus stacks video tutorials.